This is not what I was expecting to be doing today. Recapping a Yankees win. After the last two games in which the Yankees looked flat and lifeless on offense, I mean really all season, but especially in the last two games, after the deadline in which the Yankees decided to stay pat, not buy, not sell, just do nothing and anger the fans, after today's awful interview that Aaron Boone had with John Boy and Jake in which he showed more anger with John Boy and Jake than he ever has at any player in his entire time managing the Yankees, and after the awful news about Domingo Herman out for the rest of the year indefinitely, probably his Yankee career being over with alcohol, some form of alcohol-related uh, problem, which maybe explains the armpit issue a few days ago. I just expected the Yankees to roll over today, raise, sweep them, and move on. And I actually, especially, especially the, uh, expected that after the Franco home run on the first. So I'm like, well, 2 nothing. I don't have to watch the rest of this game. But amazingly, this team fought back, and two things really stood out today. One was Garrett Cole. You know, we've a lot. Of, there's a lot of guys we can complain about on this team, but there's two guys that I feel like are completely untouchable, and that is Judge and that is Cole. Cole continues his Cy Young case. He's the favorite to win Cy Young, and from all accounts, he should. Uh, right now in Vegas, he is plus is minus one ten. So it looks like he's really solidifying himself here, and he just needs a solid rest of the way to, to earn that Cy Young. And he deserved it. Seven innings, four hits, two runs, two walks, eight strikeouts, 2.64 ERA. Settled down brilliantly after the first inning, after that mistake, and just went in and just mowed the Rays down. One, two, three in the second. One, two, three in the third. One, two, three in the fourth. Uh, getting him out of the third. One, two, three in the sixth. One, two, three in the seventh. Just brilliant stuff from him. Only inning he really struggled with after that was the fifth, but he got out of that too. Uh, he had the single... But Margot was outstretching in second. And then we had low ground out. Pinona singled into second. And then Diaz grounded into a fielder's choice. So that was great today. And then the Yankees offense, which we have ridiculed and criticized, stepped up when it mattered most. We had a Harrison Bader double. He got the third on a pass ball. And then we see a home run from Anthony Volpe, which warmed my heart, which is pretty dead right now. It was so nice to see our guy hit one right over the right field fence. A two-run shot, his 14th home run of the year. That tied the game at two. Then we saw a single from IKF, a single from Glaber, and with two runners on, Big G, boy did he need that, a three-run home run over the right field wall, 5-2 Yankees. We've been killing Stanton a lot for how bad he is on offense, how slow he is, and yeah, I'm probably not expecting this to be for the remainder of the year. <laughs> I, I think this is just an anomaly, but I was happy with that home run. It was a beautiful home run, and it got us... Gave us the lead, and we never looked back after that. We saw some great defensive plays made by the Yankees. We saw IKF um, throw out Margot's uh, at second after he tried to stretch a single into a double in the fifth. We saw Harrison Bader make a sliding catch, taking away a hit from Franco in the top of the sixth. We saw a few more runs in the seventh inning. We saw a walk from IKF. He gets a second on a wild pitch. Torres reaches on an infield single. Big G again with a single into right. That scores IKF and makes it 6-2. And then some awful uh, defense by the uh, by the Rays. They throw the ball away. Glaber steals home. Allen still second. Yankees lead it seven to two, and that was really it. Uh, the Yankees win this one. I can't get too excited though. I know I want I want to get excited. I want to love this team. I want to be happy. Oh, we're only ten and a half out now. But come on, folks. <laughs> we still know the season's over. We know there's no coming back from this. I was happy with the performance today. I was happy with how well Cole played. I was happy with how the offense stepped up. The top four guys in our lineup all getting hits, especially Torres. Torres with three hits, Stan with two hits today, and Volpe with three hits today. Uh, that was good to see there. But my thing is, do we really expect this to be consistent? Do we all of a sudden now think, okay, now they've turned it around. Now Sean Casey has figured it out. And now this team is going to rally off a win streak like the 2001 Oakland Athletics or something like that. No. You know, when, when, when this team comes back tomorrow, it's probably going to be the same crap. It's probably going to be the same garbage, uh, you know, especially with Justin Verlander uh, coming back. Well, I guess he's not uh, pitching uh, tomorrow. It looks like it's going to be Javier, but whoever it is, um, it just looks like Houston is uh, it's just going to pound us for four straight games. That's what I, at least I would expect. So we'll see how it is going tomorrow, but I, I, I'm not in any way enthused. I was happy with the performance today. We, there was a lot of great plays, uh, you know, great offensive display. Volpe with his second three-hit game of the season. The other one was on June 27th. Seeing the terrific performance by Cole. Yankees putting together a lot of good at-bats. 
there's a lot to be happy about and you know some great plays on defense but I really just am not expecting oh yeah every, every, everything's everything's gonna turn around I can't I, I gotta see it more until this team can prove to me that they can do it over a week two week period I'm not gonna believe in this team I'm not gonna buy into this team I'm not gonna celebrate wins like this winning tonight was great you know performing as well as you did against Tampa excellent do that more often show up against Houston if you can sweep Houston or at least win three out of four I might sit there and go you know what? maybe this team has turned around but I, I gotta see it I gotta see it to believe it first so you got four games against Houston Prove that you can step up. Prove that you can show that we are a legit uh, title contender. Or at least we can contend. You can get back into the playoff race. I don't think it's going to happen, but maybe it will. Stranger things have happened, indeed. I just don't expect it to happen now. That's it for now, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have a news channel you like to see, make sure you subscribe down below. I'll be back tomorrow. Yankees take on the Astros. First of four games, 7-15 on Fox. Clark Schmidt takes the mound for the Yankees. I was really thinking I could start mailing in the rest of my Yankee recaps that I expected the season to be over, but those damn Yankees giving this team and giving its fan base some hope. Which is the worst thing they could do for us because I know they're not going to be able to live up to it. But we still have hope, fans. We still have a shot. It's crazy to think. Especially after how bad we've been recently. It's crazy to think we still got a shot. But that's what this team does. That's baseball. Take care and God bless.